Hi, welcome to a product tutorial by Robojax. This is lesson 2 of Sun Founders Pi Car X Raspberry Pi Self Driving Robot Car Kit. Hello, friend, how are you? Turn left gear. Come up to three seconds. Three, two, one, rock. I'm lost. Let's open the box. We have a step-by-step -step assembly instruction sheet with all the components listed clearly with color diagrams. We have one package labeled as two. This package is labeled one. And this package is labeled 3. Number 1. We have, we have a wrench, screwdriver, bags of hardware screws. And this is the all metal frame. We have second screwdriver. Package number two. We got ultrasonic module. We got camera module with wire. Gray scale module. Robot hat module. FPC cable, cable wrap, USB-C cable, and the rest of wires. Let's open package number three. We got wheels, two DC motors, three servo motors, and battery. Let's start the assembly. I'm getting the box number one. I'm following it from here. So get four pieces of this standoff, 2.5 times 18, and then four screws of 2.5 times 6. So we will attach the screw in these two four holes. Insert the screw, hold it with your finger and tighten it from this side. Tighten all four, either by holding it with your finger and hand or using a screwdriver. These 2.5 times 11 stand off. Attach the Raspberry Pi 4. 
tighten the standoff at each screw. Get these two FCC cables from the camera bag. Pull this up. When you pull it up, it allows you to insert cables. Pull. Once it's inserted fully, then push the two sides so it's secured. Pull this cable not like that, but flipped like this now let's attach robot hat on top of raspberry pi so we cannot leave it like that let's uh, this fcc cable needed to be flipped like that so for that we need to just bend it like this robot hat by connecting this connector first make sure it is aligned and then we can press it and it will set we need m 2.5 times 6 four screws Now let's do the servo zeroing. For that we will use Sunfounders create agent using the connect. Type the IP, username and password. I got connected. So on the left side we are click clicking on this servo adjust. Run. And the code is running. I'm using control zero and control minus so you can use command in Mac as well to move the to move this screen like this it comes to the bottom and then minus zero minus zero now if I press minus the screen will So the code runs and it's waiting for you. Now after running the code, the code is ready. We are going to, I'm just moving it so demonstrate it for you. I'm connecting this black line on this side at pin 11. Make sure the black is on this side. It will not work like that. Make sure it is like this. And when I insert it, you will see the servo moves. So that is zero, this is done. I'm removing this and putting it here so you can see it. The second servo as well. So this is now zero and then remove it. And then the third servo also. I'm just changing and moving it so you can see. See if we need, I don't, I'm not sure if we need it for this as well. So now it's in zero. Now to attach the motor, we get the motor, we need these three bags, M3 spring washer, M3 nut, and M3 25. Get four pieces of each to attach the motor. This is the board. Hold the motor and insert it in here. Make sure this wire is not on your way. So and these holes are aligned to these holes that are on the motor. Insert these long screws. Hold them with your finger so they don't fall. Put spring washers.
we can hold the nut with this wrench to tighten it Now let's at attach the battery, get this Velcro, one side we will attach it by removing this and attaching it to the battery, the other side will go in here and we make sure we leave this hole empty that is attached we pass the cable Attach the battery. The battery is secured. We can connect the battery to this terminal. Delete the previous one. Get the servo arm and then we need four screws from here. M1.53. We will secure this servo arm from the bottom. Attach this, insert it from the bottom so it is sticking out. You see this? And then and tighten the screws. Now it is secured. Now using this plate and R3090 rivets, we will secure the ultrasonic sensor in here. Once it is passed, push it, it will be secured. The same for the other side. Push, it will be secured now. Now it's holding. Get, get M326 standoff um, and M36 to each. Insert a screw. Hold it and then tighten the standoff. Installed. Now we are going to attach the camera. Pay attention that this side and this side we can see the contacts. You see those contacts, the metal. So this metal should be on the same side on this side we have no metal so pull this once you pull it you see it's out insert it and then push it it is secured at the end don't forget we will need to remove this piece get this piece and we will insert the camera like this and align these four holes with this 20 R2048 rivets, four pieces. Mm. 
and third derivative and push it. Camera have been attached. Get the servo arm and get this 1.5 times 3 screw, four pieces, and attach this servo arm in here. And we are going to connect the screws from this side. So this has been now secured. Let's get this B plate and then R2056 rivets, two pieces. Let's secure the servo motor for the pan servo. When you're holding it, the wire should be this way. it and it's locked R2056 rivets and second servo. Let's attach it such that the wires, like this, the wire is this way. hold this like that and pass the cable like this because we need to have the cable passing through here and then we install it and then we install it like this and here and use the screw to tighten it. Now this is this done. Maybe we need to tighten it more. Okay, so 
now we can rotate it properly the cable is flat so let's get one of these washers these two washers are A and these are all B and Put the washer, insert the washer in here, and then we push the servo motor, insert the camera to the shaft into this hole. Now I have the screw here. Now let's attach this servo like this, put it, the wire is this way and we use this rivet 2056, two of them, one in here and one in here and the servo is attached. This is for steering. Let's get the G arm, the servo arm, this type and M1.5 times 3 screw, one piece. And let's attach it like this I'm attaching it to the first hole So we should not tighten it too much. As long as it is attached and it can freely move, that's fine. Let's go more. Yeah, that's good because it can be moved easily. And let's attach it to the servo motor like this. The flat side is up, you see. I'm, I'm holding the servo like that and then pushing it, and it with this servo screw. get two pieces of M3 times 6 and then this D plate and when you insert the two screws here it will fit directly on these standoffs Secure them. Get grayscale sensor and two pieces of 3055 rivets. Place it to pass the rivet and secure it in here. Get these, get these two E and F plates. So if you place them like that, this is E and this is F. E F. The E will go to the right side like this at the top get 30 65 rivets that at the top and bottom let's secure it from top and bottom first So uh, I've been secured. Let's secure it from the bottom as well. 
in the diagram it shows this should be at the bottom but it feels as if this should be at the top let's see I will fix it if it was not the case so first let's place it in here because it will go to be it, it goes to attach to the other piece And here now this is below this was at that no same thing so it has been secured while I paid attention uh, to the servo so the servo is not removed you see this is very uh, delicate To attach the wheels, pieces for one side, three for the other side. To attach the wheels for the front, it looks like this. For the back, it has shaft. Rivets 30185 and then B plate 3 for one, 3 for the other. Get, get this shaft and get the rivet. Place 3, three uh, washers and then invert it in here into this hole let's see yeah so this is secured and also the same way for the other side And here the, the wheels have been attached. And we can insert the rear wheels by paying attention to this hole so it matches. Mm, properly and then hold it. And the same way for this side. Now let's get this four wires for the ultrasonic sensor and then five wires for this gray scale. Sensor and then pass them through this hole. I've printed these labels so I can trace the wires better. <coughs> and here I've, I've labeled them accordingly. <coughs> now I've labeled them. The motor that is attached to this portion is the tilt so here I've labeled it as tilt servo the other servo this is the pan servo and here this is a pan servo this servo in here is a steering I've labeled it as here steering these two motors I've labeled them as left motor and then right motor these two are grayscale and ultrasonic 
sensor wires these now let's connect the wires look here at the diagram and let's start with the motor one or left motor so pass this wire from here so we get the motor wire this is for the left motor left motor is connected in here right motor and here that's the right motor and then let's start with the ultrasonic it goes to d3 so the four color for ultrasonic is this one it goes to the d3 the d3 the same as the picture d3 so yellow goes in here and then so we don't have gray but we have red so black black to black is connected to the ground red 3.3 volts white goes to d3 and yellow to d2 Let's go for grayscale, analog to digital converter, and then red. Next one. And then analog zero, analog one, and two. Analog zero is gray, we have white. And then brown is analog one next yellow is analog two now we go for the steering servo this is the steering servo it is connected to pin two p2 connect steering servo to p2 pay attention to the black P2 black is this way and that's P2 and then tilt servo to P1 tilt to P1 and pan servo to P0 so parcel modulation 0 all the wiring have been completed to do final check then check the ground ground is black all black should be on this side as well so brown or black are on this side and for the last step let's put them together using this wire wrap so that it looks clean That, that would be enough thank you for watching I will see you in the next lesson